Hey everybody, Dan Clayton here, Jazz1600AM on Twitter. I'm a Spanish radio analyst for Utah Jazz Games. There's a guy I've been talking about for a couple weeks now, Gal Meckel. The Jazz reportedly almost had him in fall camp last season. There were some visa issues that prevented that. And now he's seeing interest from a variety of teams. Fox Sports Wisconsin is reporting that he has an offer to join the summer league roster of the Bucks. The Mavs are reportedly looking, the Hawks, the Raptors. Uh, so he's going to be a name that's relevant. So I figured let's take a look at Gal Meckel and, uh, and see what we can learn about him as we approach free agency. So Gal has an NBA body. He's a 6'4 point guard with uh, some, you know, a decent build. Uh, he played two years at Wichita State University, did not declare for the draft, went back across the pond and played in Israel, then Italy, then back to Israel. And he's just coming off winning an Israeli league championship with his team Maccabi Haifa over Maccabi Tel Aviv a long-time powerhouse in uh, in the Israeli League and the Euro League. So I've grabbed some video from a couple of his uh, European tournament games as well as a couple of his Israeli League games to really look at his strengths. What you're going to see is he's a good shooter. He can also create in penetration, but the thing that's really impressing NBA uh, scouts and front offices is his passing skills. He's a good pick and roll point guard and really has a sense, uh, great court vision and a, and a sense for creating a play. So let's take a look first at his shooting. So on this first play, you're gonna see him step back into a jump shot behind the screen. Nails that one, good rhythm on his shot. Here's another one that gets kicked out to him. The defense recovers, but he's already into the rhythm on the shot, so he drills that one as well. Here comes another play where he'll step behind a, probably a moving screen, but he takes advantage of the screen, puts up a shot and puts another three-pointer home. Most of these are three-pointers in this segment. Here he'll go around a pick, uses the pick well, but gets it right back after he dishes, and he'll get three points from straight in front. This time he just waits in the corner, plants, waits for the three-point shot, and there it comes. Now let's take a look at his penetration skills. Really good on dribble penetration too. This is my favorite move, and actually I'm gonna slow it down and show it to you twice because I just love, it's, it's almost literally an ankle breaker move. Watch the big man here on the replays. He comes out to guard him and Meckel just shakes him, bakes him here with a left to right crossover. The guy falls over. Meckel switches to the left hand just to protect the ball in case anyone wanted to block the shot. That's my favorite example of his penetration. But here's another one coming up. Good body control as he'll fake, spin into the lane, then he spins away from the defender and uses glass to make the shot go home. This one, just change of, of uh, acceleration, a change of velocity, scoops it up with the right hand. Here's one where he actually gets the switch from the big man, goes into the lane, the help comes back, but he's still able to score over two defenders. That's because of that length we talked about. Now let's take a look at his passing. First, his passing in transition. Gets the ball ahead to Dante Smith for a dunk. These ones, nothing too sexy about these plays, except the impressive thing is he's not a point guard who feels like he has to dribble on the fast break. He's going to move the ball ahead and he's going to look for the better play. Get the north-south ball movement working for his teams. Here's another one you're going to see a deflection. Ball stolen, winds up in Methel's hands. He's got a five on one, really. Israel liked to run with the basketball. Now let's take a look at his passing on the pick and roll or with drawing the defense. This is another one I'm gonna slow down for you. I just love that hook pass. Draws the second defender and then just instantaneously whips it into the paint. Nice play there on the pick and roll. There you see him trapped after the pick. So again, just whips it down to that left block so that his guy can get a hook shot. Another one where he uses the pick and roll, whips it right into the lane for a little baby hook shot. This one I like a lot because we see him go left on the pick and roll. So now we've seen him go both right and left. Again, he's gonna go left. That time the pass was a little off. First time I've seen him off on a pick and roll pass, but you can see that he's comfortable with the pick and roll both right and left. Now let's look at his passing in the half court offense or off of penetration. First, this great baseline drive on the right side and a wrap around pass, nice court vision there. This guy gets it done. Now you're gonna watch on this play, he's actually over here on the right perimeter. Ball's gonna whip around to him. He's gonna go into the lane to the left, dish right, and this guy gets a layup. Again, comfortable going both right and left. Here he's got the ball, 
And this time, you know, this play he doesn't have a ton to do with. I threw this in here because it's a great team passing play. And I'm going to slow this down for you. You'll see all Mechel does is really initiate the play with this sort of casual pass off to the left. But look how quickly the ball touches all five guys' hands, resulting in an open three-pointer. When you play in that type of team offense, it, it, can't, it can't not stick. And we'll see more examples of this where he's just used to moving the ball quickly. In fact, this is a great one right here. The ball's going to come out to him. That's him right there, caught on the right perimeter, and immediately touched past it into the right corner for an open three. And finally on this one, he just waits for his guy to rub his guy off on a screen and dive in for a layup. I do have my questions about Gal Mechel though. One is how he moves away from the basketball. Uh, there's some full game video out there and if you watch that versus just these shorter recap videos, you'll see sometimes where he just sort of hangs out on the perimeter. Not sure if that's just the way his, his uh, coaches had set up the system or not. I also haven't seen a lot of defense to tell me if he is ready or isn't ready to play NBA level defense. And then obviously Kevin Pelton would remind us that rebounding is an important predictor of point guard success as they transition to the league. I haven't noticed that he's a, a great rebounder, although I've seen a couple examples of him, of him coming in and battling with bigs for a loose ball. So that's the Gal Mechel scouting video. Hopefully you've uh, learned a little something, and now when his name comes up, because it will come up, hopefully you'll know a little bit more about the Israeli point guard. One option for the Utah Jazz this summer in free agency, but certainly someone who will probably be coming to the NBA. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.